everyone that says, you've got the best job in the world. And I tell them they're right. <laughs> like, I, I'm not going to argue with them. I, I have, there's no job that I'd rather have. It's, I watch hockey every night. <laughs> This is way more people than are usually here on Morning Skate. I always stand back from the cameras because I'm not holding a microphone, so I let them get close and then I kind of peer over the top. How important is it to play smart hockey and, and not live in the box? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the way we always want to play. The biggest struggle during Morning Skate, my handwriting. I have no idea what it says by the time I get home. Do you, do you take your own advice? And <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Amber, what do you think? <laughs> oh, have I been pretty tense this morning? <laughs> I'm on camera all the time. I'm wired today. Oh, really? These guys are following me around. So. Oh, Hello, I'm a severely underdressed Brennan Burke alongside the radio voice of the New York Islanders, Chris King. I didn't know I would have I would. I'm severely up. overdressed, actually, Brennan, so they are, that's the truth. All right, so we've cleaned up a little bit as we're getting ready for game time, and we're at home now, and this is uh, my biggest challenge to getting my work ready for the games is, is Liam. He just turned two in February, and... Uh, we're going to come in and uh, come inside and let you see what it's like to try and prep for a hockey game with a, a crazy two-year-old. Okay? You ready? Yeah. You want to go upstairs and show everybody your daddy's office? Look, daddy, he's smile. Is that a camera? Look, smile, cheese. Oh, I need to smile, cheese. My wife's not here. Um, my wife is a single mom for eight months out of the year. She does, uh, she does a great job. I'm gone for large chunks of the year and even on a day like this where I'm home, I'm gone. So I think a lot of the people that I've heard from are very interested to see how I'm going to open the broadcast tonight. Um, I've written out a few things earlier in the year, the first game back at the Coliseum, uh, first game back against John Tavares, a couple of different things. Um, they're big moments. Well, I travel a lot, so I don't get to pick up my daughter as often as I'd like to from school, but I can today, so I will. So let's go pick up Quinn. Mwah. You excited, Quinny? <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, Liam. Mm. Mommy, be home soon, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the hard part uh, is uh, saying goodbye, but now comes the uh, the fun part as we get to go to the rink. For the games in Brooklyn, I've uh, I've actually car I actually carpool in with Butch. It's been amazing working with him for three years. I mean. Um, you know, his, his knowledge, he comes at this from a very different place than me, obviously, as, as a player one, but, you know, somebody that, that was there for those, those cup years. Oh, NHL Network in the house. Oh, yeah. What's up? How are you? So it is uh, almost 4.30. Um, we get up to the booth for the first time and try and get everything set up. I set up my iPad and um, put together my boards, uh, get my glue sticks out and do all that fun stuff. Are we still at a 4.30 production meeting? That's his boyhood idol, right? and he, he uh, relishes the opportunity to play against uh, an elite hockey player, one that has all this experience, and he's just really excited about playing against Crosby. I think the only name I have for the Open that I'm actually going to use is Barry Trotz. I mean, other than that, it's going to be... Fairly quick off the top? Yeah, I'll, I'll say to the script, okay. but, um, okay. but I'm not naming any players. Okay. Uh, Trotz was interesting this morning. He kind of, he was trying to downplay it, I think, and he just said, like, we only need our power play if their power play is going. I'll say our crew is thrilled to be with you for the first round, and thanks to the wonderful fans who have stayed with us all season long. We want to head upstairs now and welcome in our play-by-play -play team, Brennan Burke and Mitch Goring. The team that wasn't given a chance at the start of the season, they'll have a chance to play for the Stanley Cup. The Islanders are back in the playoffs. Those Stanley Cup playoffs will start here at Nassau Coliseum. I have Sarah, our graphics coordinator, text me the graphics that we use during the pre-game in the open, so if I need to reference them, I always have them on my phone. So I'm not texting, I'm actually doing work. All right, well, we're closing in on puck drop. Everything is pretty much ready. The boards have been glued together, my work of art. Next time you see me, it'll be on your television set. Welcome inside Nassau Coliseum alongside the 1981 Smythe Trophy winner, Butch Goring. I'm Brendan Burke.